I was much more ready to open my heart to everyone in the band, lyrically, emotionally, and creatively. I was really an advocate going out of my way to say, Kirk, send in your riffs. We need stuff. Come on, you know. I don't want to sit there with Lars and create the songs anymore. I want everyone to be a part of it and be in it. Can you all show up? Can we all be in the studio together? Can we jam on these things together? Can you sp speak up and say what you think might be great and not so great, you know? Really wanting to open it up and there were challenges in that, but I think we got through most of them. We've all got our own personalities for a reason. And sometimes when you put the mic in front of someone and say, here you go, say whatever you want, they've realized that maybe they don't want that. <laughs> and they're better off playing off of what you come up with. And I'm the same way. Someone will come up with an idea. I'm good at taking that and hopefully bringing it up to the next level. It was challenging, but it was available. Uh, and that felt very freeing for everybody. It took longer because there were more voices, obviously. Uh, and then, obviously, Greg Fiddleman is a trusted outside ear that he's able to just say, eh, I don't know about that, or hey, that's really good, do that again. And um, so the writing process was a lot more open, a lot more fun, having all four of us here. You know, here's a riff, let's go jam on it and then see what comes up from it. So there's so many different ways to approach writing a song. You know, some in the past were already kind of put together and brought to the band. This was a little more, hey, this riff from Manchester, that's awesome. Let's see what we can do with it. it. It started with less ingredients, I would say, and we were building this record. There were four chefs instead of just two. 